What's up everybody? Today is September 9th, 2024 and um, the first thing I want to say is thank you very much to my friend Jesus. So he gave me a new phone and um, I'll tell you the story of that real quick. So my phone has been uh, messed up for a while and it finally got to a point where not only couldn't I see my screen but the phone wouldn't even charge anymore at all no matter what charger I used or how I plugged it up or anything my phone just dead 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 and so um Jesus took me Becca and Nano to Walmart and you know just to get normal food or whatever stuff but I also wanted to look for any kind of you know a phone or a tablet just something and um I had one in mind or a couple in mind and um they just didn't have it at Walmart so I was like okay I just kind of gave up and then um we continued to walk through the store and then it dawned on Jesus. He was like, hold on a second. He said, you, you want, you, <laughs> he was like, you want a phone? And I was like, yeah. Um, you know, just for Wi-Fi, not even for, you know, a uh, service to make calls. Um, just the phone to, you know, make videos to use Wi-Fi to, uh, you know, cause I use Facebook messenger to, uh, message my mom or, or Becca or, uh, um, you know anything like that he's like oh he's like i have uh you know an old you know a used uh you know his old uh phone and um you know if if, if i wanted i was like yeah absolutely and so anyways so long story short um you know he gives me this phone literally the one i'm recording with and even though it's used this is like it's a beautiful phone like a hundred times better than my old phone um great condition uh etc it's really good phone i could you know um that that's one of the reasons i don't record a lot because you know i told you guys sometimes i press the record button it doesn't record or i press stop recording and it doesn't stop and like i said i get i, got, I literally got to the point my phone wouldn't even charge it had zero battery wouldn't charge i couldn't do nothing so anyhow so he gave me this phone and so thank you to him very much very much um yeah i needed a phone so bad and so I have the options. I could put, you know, a SIM card in. I could get phone service I want. But, again, I'm just interested in the Wi-Fi. Anyhow, so thank you to him so much. And then I have a second thank you to his wife because his wife gave uh, my girlfriend, Becca, some Crocs, some shoes. Uh, when I think we're at Walmart on that day. And Becca noticed she had a hole in her Crocs. And, again, Jesus mentioned, he was like, hey, I think my wife has some extra and so he texted her, and she was very kind and uh, said, yeah, she could have one of my pairs. So thank you to his wife as well. Um, I, I don't want to mention her name. But, yeah, thank you to Jesus' wife as well um, for the for the Crocs for Becca. She loves them a lot. They fit perfectly. They just happen to have the same size feet or close enough. And so, yeah, you know, um, in general, I'm, I'm, I'm really trying to get to a point where I'm, um, you know, uh, I'm thankful, you know, I, you know, I show my appreciation when people do nice things for me. Like, you know, the last video I made, I, I, I mentioned that my, my aunt Yvonne sent me $100 on PayPal, you know, again, thank you so much to her for that. And, you know, just everything. So, yeah, so I tried to, I tried to, especially now that I, I kind of have this platform a little bit, I mean, th oh, this is a good segue into what this video is about. You know, I have this platform, um... You know where I, where I make videos, and I'm somewhat famous. <laughs> I'm not. I mean, I have you know I have a followership of of sorts, and um, and so you know I could publicly say thank you to the people who help me and give me things, and so yes. Yeah, so segueing to this famous thing. This is uh, this is what the video is about. So years back, gosh, I don't know, around 2015 or so. Um, I worked at Walgreens for those not from the United States or who don't know what Walgreens is. It's, um, uh, it's called a pharmacy. So, you know, you can go get your prescription drugs or whatever, but they, it's also like a little store too. They have just general food items, toilet paper, whatever else. Anyhow, I worked at a Walgreens and I was a cashier. And, um, one day while I was working there, cause I was just cashier. I just pretty much just sat at the cashier all day and, you know, people come up. And um, the one that I worked at was pretty busy. You know, a lot of people came in. So uh, one day I had, the, I mean, especially during like the holidays, Christmas, a lot, a lot of people. 
I mean, to the point of maybe, I don't know, a couple thousand people a day, right? And this is where the thought came about the famous thing. And one day I just thought to myself, I was like, am I famous? You know, I started, you know, I'm just sitting there at the register, nothing else to do. And I was like, you know, every, every day I'm sitting here as cashier, I'm seeing at least a couple hundred people, if not like maybe a thousand or more really busy days, you know, local people, uh, from the city, maybe some, because oh, uh, the the Walgreens I worked at was right next to a, a, a freeway, uh, you know, a busy thoroughfare, and so people from out of town saw me or whatever, and so anyhow, so I had the thought, I was like, you know, a lot of people see me, you know, they know my name and all this kind of stuff, and I was like, it just got me thinking, what 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 is what is famous? I mean, obviously, people who you know, are movie stars or, you know, musicians and they have like millions of people who know them and follow them. Okay, we accept it. Those people are famous. And then, you know, uh, nowadays, you know, there's uh, social media people on YouTube or TikTok or whatever. And, and, you know, again, they have maybe millions or even hundreds of thousands of followers and maybe consider them famous. But basically my question is, my question was, what is the lower limit of being famous? You know, basically, it's like, okay, you have 10 million people who follow you or who know you because you're a movie star or Instagram or whatever you are. 10 million people. Okay, you're famous. Okay. Okay, you have a million people who follow you. Okay, well, that's probably still considered decently famous. You got a million followers or, I don't know, you know, a million people know who you are. Just say a million. That's a lot. That's a lot of people. I mean, shoot, that's a population of some countries, right? Okay, so, but you keep going down. Okay, well, what about 500,000? What about 100,000 people? What about 50,000 people or 1,000 people? You know, what is the lower, my, my thought, my question was, what is the lower limit of being famous to where you could say this or that person? Not even necessarily me, this or that person is famous. And so, um transitioning you know again that was my thought when i worked at uh, walgreens but now again i have this uh, youtube um, presence we'll say you know i have a very very small following like what is it like a thousand followers and every video i do gets around say i don't know 30 to 50 views sometimes i get lucky and maybe i'll get a 500 to a, a thousand views you know i myself would not consider myself famous I think for me, for me, probably anywhere under a hundred thousand, um, say followers, like regular followers is probably, I would not consider famous. You know, you have a thousand followers, 10,000, 50,000, you know, 50,000, that starts to be a lot of people, especially if you have 50,000, not just subscribers, but 50,000 people who normally watch your videos, that starts to be a lot. So maybe somewhere between 50 and 100,000, I would say, at least, you know, for online stuff, um, sort of the borderline of uh, becoming famous, you know, again, uh, definitely a million. If you have, a, I would say, if you have a million people who watch you, I don't care what you do, if you sing, if you shine shoes, if you make YouTube videos, you've got a million people who, you know, follow what you do, I would say that's famous. But yeah, again, what is the lower limit? So that, that you know, that's, uh, that's my question. That's my question. And I don't, you know, it's, you know, obviously there's no right or wrong answer uh, per se, but, um, you know, that's what, that that's what I, I got to thinking about it recently again, because I just got to thinking about, um, you know, I'm, I'm getting a little bit more um, people like following my videos and watching me and stuff like that. And um, so I was thinking, hey, at what point, say, say my channel continues to grow, am I, am I not? But just, just say it does, you know, at what point would I be considered, you know, a little bit famous, at least. I don't know. Fun thought, right? Anyhow, yeah, thank you again to Jesus. Thank you again to his wife. Thank you again to my aunt. Thank you again to all of you, literally, for being here. You know, um, anyone who's donated, um, you know, liking the video, subscribing, commenting. And even if you don't do any of that say you don't donate you don't like you don't subscribe but you're here i appreciate you i do i appreciate all of you here even if you come for maybe 30 seconds just to see what the video is about and then you move on i appreciate it or 10 seconds 
one second. You click on my video and move on. Thank you. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next video.